Hi guys, Top Hops here, and in today's video, I'm going to be unboxing my biggest package of U2s ever. So let's get started. Now you guys might be thinking, Tristan, it doesn't look that big. It's just a normal size box. But if you were to look at a normal size U2s one that I would get in, look at the difference. It's crazy. And this right here is just a single U2s inside, but if you were to look at this compared to the big box that we have today, look at how many are going to be inside of here. It really is gonna be nuts, and I'm so excited to crack into this thing. Now, I know some of these ones inside of here are gonna be my Black Friday order because a few of them were on pre-order, so I am really excited to open them up today. All right, everyone, so I'm just looking inside right here, and there really is some crazy U2s. So let's start with this one. Yeah, let's do this one first. All right, everyone, so here is the first figure, which is Mizkif. Now, this one looks a little weird, and if you guys don't know who Mizkif is, I'll explain why in a bit. But if you guys want to see the sides, there really is some great detail here, with it kind of looking like Super Mario 64, because that is one of the main games that he plays. And you guys can see on the back here, it says Super Mizkif, and there are more eggs in the water here, very similar to his head. And then on this side, there's another egg in the water. And all right, guys, now let's actually take the sleeve off of this thing and see what Mizkif looks like. <laughs> this was just so weird, but I love it. And now let me read his quote. So it says here, I love every second of it. And then on the back here, you may be an idiot for buying this piece of plastic, but I just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart for making my dreams come true. Oh, and thanks for the five bucks I made off your purchase. And then if you guys want to read the back, there it is right there. But now let's open up the top of this and see what that quote is and take it out. Oh, it's just yo. If you guys know Ms. Giff, that's pretty fitting. All right, everyone, so here is the figure right here, and if you guys don't know why his head is in the shape of an egg, it's literally just because a lot of people say his egg his egg looks like a head. His head looks like an egg. So he really did play off that and make his head look exactly like an egg. Like if you guys have ever seen Mizkif before, that's what he actually looks like. And he doesn't really look like an egg, but I mean, it's kind of similar. I think it's been ever since he actually shaved his head bald. It's probably why. But yeah, guys, I think the figure really does look great. He's wearing the headphones that he always wears. He's got his Mizkif sweater on. He's got the bunny. Now I actually forget what his bunny's name is. It's not Chompy, Chompy's the cat but I don't remember his bunny's name. Somebody's gotta know, put it in the comment section below. But I think my favorite thing about this entire figure is that he actually has a Super U2 64 box in his hand, so it's supposed to be like Mario U2's Mario, kind of like flying exactly how the box is like Super Mario 64, but instead it's kind of u 2 fied so instead of the M on Mario's hat, what would you call him? Utuzio instead of Utuzio? I don't know. But it's kind of like a Utuzified version of the Super Mario 64 box, and I think it looks great. Um, hi everybody. I forgot to say Utu's time at the beginning of the video, so I'm sneaking in through this 360 right here. So let me just say it right now. Anyways, guys, it is Utu's time. Sorry about that, guys. I almost forgot. Anyways, get back to it. All right, everyone, so the next thing that I ordered is not a figure, it's actually a U2's plush, so let me see if I can get this thing out of here, and this takes up about half the box, but I know it's gonna look sick. And now you guys might be able to tell what it is from the bag, but if you guys can't, this is the bra plush, and it says hug, cuddle, bra, and I love how U2's customizes the bags based off which plush is inside. Oh, shoot, guys, I didn't even notice. On the other side, it is a massive version of the bra plush, and look at that nose. Now that's a schnoz. All right, now let's open this thing up so we can see it a little bit closer up. And holy crap, look at this thing. There, it is right there. And I'm definitely gonna be keeping these bags just because u puts a lot of time into them as well. And I figure why not keep them if they have a cool design? And I mean, come on, look at that. It's too cool not to keep. And now I know what a lot of you guys are thinking. Isn't this just a statue from Easter Island? And the answer is yes, but for a while there, there was a meme going around where everybody would say bruh and then put this emoji after it. And so u called it the bruh plush instead of just the Easter Island whatever, it's a lot funnier in my opinion. And now if you guys want to see the tag that comes on every single one of the plush, there's one side right there. It's kind of like an iridescent bra plush. And then on the other side, it says the name as well as who it was designed by. And then yes, this even was licensed by the emoji company. Oh, and I almost forgot to mention you guys that I did also order the thinking emoji. So that was the last emoji that I needed for my entire emoji collection. How many times did I say emoji there? But anyways, it's the first ever levitating figure from U2's and I'm so excited to show it off to you guys. 
All right, guys, now next up, who do I do? I think we're gonna go with this one because I really wanna see what this one looks like out of the box. And the one that I'm talking about is Chris Ramsey. Now, I have actually really been enjoying Chris Ramsey's content recently. And if you guys don't know what he does, he actually does puzzles as well as magic. And I really do enjoy watching someone try to figure out a puzzle. And it's not just like, you know, the normal pieces, a thousand pieces, 50 pieces, whatever it is. He actually does like puzzle boxes and tries to solve them. And it really is entertaining to watch. And I believe he almost has 5 million subscribers because of it. And so if you guys want to see here, there's the front of the Chris Ramsey box. And then if you were to look on the side here, it's actually got a YouTube-ified hand with his deck of cards that he created going all the way around the outside. And now when we slide the sleeve off, let's take a look at the figure. Wow, this thing's a lot bigger than I expected. So when I show you guys this one, I'll compare it to Mizkif because this thing is massive. Now on the side here, it says, I have no idea what I'm doing because he says that in pretty much every single one of his puzzle box videos. Because seriously, if you watch him do it, it really is complicated. And then on the back side here, it says art lies in the performance, not the secret. Kind of cryptic, but if you guys want to see the box, it's actually supposed to look like a massive puzzle box all the way around. And I love that you twos and Chris chose to do that. And now let's find out what the inside quote is for Chris Ramsey. It says, let's get into it. Now that is definitely a good one to put on the inside of a box. And let's see what the figure looks like. And wow! This one is definitely way taller than Mizkif, or maybe it's similar. All right, guys, so there's Chris standing on the table right there, and there is Mizkif. Actually, it's very similar in height. I think his hat just makes him a little bit taller, and maybe it's the brim that's sticking out that makes him look a lot larger. It's probably that. And now looking at this figure a little bit closer up, I love the detail on it, especially with the simplistic tattoos on his hand and the Joker in between his fingers right in front of his mouth, as well as the deck of cards flying out of his hand. And that right there is his own deck of cards that he created. And then his shoes even have a lot of detail. It says equality on the other one and then something in a different language. I don't know what language that is, but it still is cool that they added that much detail. Well, there you go, guys. That was Chris Ramsey. And I really do love this figure as well as his content. So I'm glad that I could purchase this one and support his videos. Now for this one here, I believe it is still in stock on YouTube.com. So if you guys want to pick one up, I definitely recommend it because this figure looks great. Alrighty, now let's get into the next figures here. And I think I'm going to do the next two together because they are in the same set. And the ones that I'm talking about are Bitzer and Timmy. All right, guys, so let's actually start by opening up Timmy. So if you guys want to see him, there is the front of the sleeve right there. And then all the way around, it's blue on one side, but then on the back side, it's got Teddy on the paper airplane. All right, now let's slide the sleeve off and see what Timmy Timmy looks like, and this is part of the Sean the Sheep collection, so it actually does say Sean the Sheep at the bottom there, and I think it's really cool that YouTube's does take all of their licensed stuff and give them their own collection. And then on the side here, it says, <clears throat> let me brush up on my lamb, it says, bah! That sounds more like Spongebob laughing. Bah! I can't do it. I'm sorry, guys. But then on the back here, it says, it's Timmy, a little lamb with a lot to learn who's a handful of trouble at every turn. It rhymes. Okay, this is funny, guys. So I was looking on the bottom here, and apparently it has, like, an official product sticker, but I thought I got two scratch codes for u and I wish I did, because that would have been great when the vault comes out. All right, everyone, now let's actually pop open the sleeve on this one to see what it says on the inside, and it says, it's Timmy! And then when you open this one up, I'm really excited to see what Timmy looks like and to put him with my Sean as well as bits are on my shelf and wow this Timmy is clean I especially love what he looks like with his teddy bear there and now looking at this one here I didn't know how I was gonna feel about the U2's eyes on top of Timmy's eyes but I do think it looks great because of the way that he's smiling and I feel like if it was just white or just the eyes it wouldn't look like Timmy all right everyone now let me slide Timmy into here and let's get on to the next one which is Bitzer and this one here is very similar on the outside where it's got the gold in the front and then on the sides it's just blue but on the back he's got his checkboard to make sure all of the sheep are back in their pen in the night. And now if we were to take the sleeve off of Bitzer and see what he looks like, holy crap! Look at the detail on this thing. It says it's not easy being Bitzer on the side. And then on the back it says the farmer's faithful dog and a good friend is Sean. Bitzer is an ever suffering ever suffering sheepdog just doing his best to keep Sean's pals out of trouble and then of course on the back side it's got all of the sheep in a mess of trouble and then on the inside there it says grr of course because he's a sheepdog but I also really enjoy that they put a whistle as well as his hat all the way throughout the box and if you guys are wondering why I said holy crap as soon as I took this thing out of the box it's because look at the detail on bits where he's got his headphones on as well as his beanie he's got a book in his hand he's got a cheese and pepperoni pizza actually I believe there's also some mushrooms 
mushrooms on top of there. There's something. It's not just cheese and pepperoni, but it is amazing how much detail U2's put into this. And then at the end of the day, he still has the U2's eyes. I mean, U2's, come on, you killed her with this one. And if they made Bitzer standing, I think it still would have looked good, but to have him sitting in his deck chair, it really does look amazing. And you know what, now that I look at it a little bit closer up, it really does seem like the deck chair is super thin, so I don't know how he is stuck into it, but I'm just not gonna question it. All right, everybody, I'm just trying to fit Bitzer into my little collection over here, and then we're gonna get onto the last figure for today, because I am so excited about opening this one up, and let me get it out of the box, because there is one left, and this one here is... Carl Jacobs. All right, we can finally get rid of this box. Well, anyways, guys, here's the Carl Jacobs figure a little bit closer up. And what I love about this one is that it's double dipping into both the Mr. Beast collection as well as the Dream SMP collection. And then if you guys want to see the sleeve, it's supposed to look like his very iconic sweater. And there it is all the way around. And then on the figure, you can see he's wearing that exact thing. All right, now let's take the sleeve off of this thing and see what Carl looks like now. Wow, he is sitting in a gaming chair, so that's really cool. And then on the side here, it says Bonk. On the back side, it says Carl Jacobs. And then when you open it up, what does it say? Honk. <laughs> Pretty fitting. But now, let's take this one out of the box so we can see it a little bit closer up. And here it is right here. I love the sign where it says honk because that thing is tiny. And I'm glad that that didn't break because that looks really cool. But you guys can see here he is sitting in the chair. He's got his massive sweater on. And that really does look like Carl as well. I think the hair is well done. And just taking a bit of a closer look at this one out of the box, I really do think they did a great job with this one. And I know I've mentioned it a couple times, but I think the sweater is really well done because I knew it was a bunch of colors and I thought it was going to be tough. So to have the sleeves kind of like half and half like that, they did a pretty great job. But yeah, guys, the chair is also really well done. And I don't think I have many U2 sitting down. I know we got Bitzer today, but I can't really think of many others. There's like Teddy Lirius that I have, but I don't know. I guess, well, Crying Carson is sitting down. But other than that... Yeah, I don't know, there's not too many of them, so I am glad that Carl chose to be sitting down, because I think that does look a lot cooler on the figure. All right, well anyways guys, I don't really have anywhere to put Carl here, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you guys want to see more U2's content in the future, please let me know in the comment section below. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you guys want to see more from me in the future, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all that, but this has been another episode of Top Pops, Popsters, thanks for watching. See you guys tomorrow. Dripping like a school. On a four with school. Baby gonna school. She funny with it. Funny with it. Cool. B five four thump. I'm a hump on a bounce. Jack and Jill up a hill. Baby trying to get a meal. Mary had a little lamb. I really do not fuck with. And she calling me the muffin man. I surely like the muffin top. Snow. Lama lashes.